talk about Kang's plan in Quantum Mania and how it's going to lead into Avengers Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. God's plan. This is absolutely crazy. Some of this is coming from the new Ant-Man 3 trailer, but a lot of this is coming from a brand new plot leak that is making its way around the internet and being corroborated by a lot of good insiders and scoopers. But don't worry, don't, don't leave the video. We're not gonna go into full spoilers. We're not going through the whole freaking plot of the movie. And instead, we're just gonna focus on a couple of crazy things about Kang the freaking Conqueror because it's absolutely dope and has a lot to do with where the Avengers movies are headed. So before we get into the plot leak stuff, can we just talk about how damn awesome Awesome Kang the Conqueror looks. I love the look of Jonathan Major in the armor. I love the scars that they have on his face. And this poster for Kang looking down at Ant-Man and the Wasp is one of the best posters Marvel Studios has ever done. But I absolutely love the look of Kang in his full-on suit with his helmet on. It looks perfect, dude. He looks just like a lot of fan art had made him out to be with Jonathan Majors. And the technology that he is using looks absolutely epic. It looks like there's this whole army going on in the quantum realm. And upon seeing some of the visuals for Kang's time chair in the movie, many fans are pointing out just how similar these rings that are floating around his time chair look to the Ten Rings from Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings and the bangles from Miss Marvel. And I've previously talked about this in a prior video because there was a new report talking about how the Ten Rings and the bangles from Miss Marvel are essentially the new Infinity Stones, which are going to be sort of spread throughout as little MacGuffins that are all going to tie back together for Kang Dynasty and like Secret Wars. But now I've got to get into a little bit of what's in this new plot leak with regards to Kang, what's going on with his time chair and the movie, and then we're going to get into some sweet, sweet speculation on how all of this will come together for Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars. So first up in the new plot leak, it talks about how Janet and Kang were both trapped in the quantum realm in the past. Kang has a ship that can travel the multiverse. So full stop on that, I do believe that is actually his time chair, and this is slightly different than what is in the comic books with Kang, but yes, essentially this chair, this technology that Kang the Conqueror has, has the ability to travel the multiverse, which now, because of what we saw in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, we know is incredibly difficult to do. Now, apparently when Janet and Kang were working together, it was because this chair or this ship had been damaged and Janet was going to help Kang fix it and in return for her help to fix this time traveling multiverse traveling chair Kang would give her some of the time that she lost back she had been in the quantum realm for so long and she had missed growing up with her daughter and so there's a line in the trailer where Kang says I could give you back some time and I think that's going to end up being from this scene with Janet Janet. Now, according to the plot leak here, Janet discovers that Kang is a villain via some kind of neural connection that he has with this ship or possibly the chair. And so then she confronts him about it. He admits that he's evil, but that there's far worse things coming. So Janet destroys the ship. I think actually steals the time chair and traps them both in the quantum realm. And ever since this happened, Kang the Conqueror has been trying to find Janet for revenge and trying to retrieve I believe his time chair which then with along with those crazy rings would allow him to travel through the multiverse. Kang reveals that he's beaten the Avengers several times before. He even asks Ant-Man if he's the one with the hammer referring to Thor. Kang also reveals that because Janet screwed him over the first universe he's going to conquer is going to be hers the 616 and then Kang the Conqueror reveals that he has this epic army that he's going to take with him to then go conquer all of the different universes. So, okay, let's break this down. Let's talk about this. This is absolutely nuts, okay? Now, this goes again into that video I did a couple of weeks back about the Ten Rings and about the Bangles, and I do believe that really what these things are going to be is the Quantum Bands and the Nega Bands. So the Bangle, sort of a different version of that that the Kree invented to jump around the, the galaxy or the universe, but ultimately the old version, right, the Ten Rings themselves, I think are going to be quantum bands. And I think that those same bands are what allow Kang to be able to travel not only through different time, but through the multiverse. And it's crazy because even in that other video, I sort of 
pontificated or speculated that technology like the Ten Rings would be used by Shang-Chi and the Avengers to maybe go into different universes. So now, after Quantum Mania, it seems like Kang will be just in our world, possibly with his army, and he's going to want to conquer our universe first before going on to conquer the rest of the universe. And yet he's still afraid of other variant versions of himself. And so to me, it's very likely that Kang Dynasty is going to be about Kang trying to take over Earth, you know, beating the Avengers for another time and becoming sort of the ruler of Earth and therefore effectively taking over this entire universe. And then maybe even aiming to go into other universes to take them over as well. I don't necessarily know for sure that the entire plot of Kang Dynasty will take place on 616. Like, it's possible he'll be hopping into different universes. Maybe even the Avengers, with the use of the Ten Rings, will be hopping into different universes to go after him or to stop him. And I'm interested in whether or not Kang is starting the incursions like is him being in different universes going to cause different incursions to happen or are the incursions already happening and is Kang conquering different universes to blow up the earths to therefore then stop the incursions from happening because I mean effectively we have to do Kang Dynasty and then we have to get to Secret Wars and obviously it feels like the incursions are going to play a big role in that it takes me back to that scene where he who remains is talking to Loki and Sylvie and he says I want to prevent the end of everything and as soon as he said that line back then in the show to me that felt like the collapsing of the multiverse that perhaps what he who remains was ultimately trying to do with the sacred timeline was prevent incursions from happening that then would therefore destroy the entire multiverse because if you think about it they're talking about different timelines sort of colliding into each other and that really does feel like maybe an incursion and so the most important thing to keep in mind here is that we now know the motivation for this version of Kang a version of Kang that has been going through time beating different versions of the Avengers you know at different periodic points, this version of Kang has a ship that makes it so he can go into different universes, and he intends to take this army that he has to conquer our Earth and then go into all the different other universes and conquer all of them, likely slaying his own variants. And I think this also proves that the Ten Rings and maybe the Bengals are going to be the way by which the Avengers are able to go into different universes, maybe to fight Kang, maybe to go seek other allies. I'm not really sure. Either way, this stuff has me pretty hyped up for Ant-Man Quantumania, and I think after this, we're definitely gonna know how we're getting to Kang Dynasty, how we're getting to Secret Wars, and all sorts of other crazy fun things that can happen along the way. Let me know what you think about all of this. Make sure you smash a like on this video if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you're automatically entered to win the dope nerdy thing that we give each month this month it's the reforged mjolnir and come on by our live streaming channel we stream five days a week monday through friday at noon eastern standard time you can come on by with some of your questions or just watch us hang out and talk about nerdy things and if you want to watch more why not check out this recent video that talks all about henry cavill returning to the role of superman and whether or not dwayne johnson should be given the keys to the dc films kingdom